But you see the strides that ladies football have made today. It was beyond our wildest dreams at that stage. To go out from field days at carnivals, I just got, and who knew somebody, and I know somebody in such and such a place. And, and, and we met a lot of opposition to it, let me add. Uh, that goes for at all levels. It was probably slow at the, at the beginning because of, there were so many obstacles in our way. The, the, there were genuine fears. It were a totally different society back then than what we are today, much more progressive today. And it took a lot of hard work. Even the National Secretary didn't have a phone in those days. You had the number of somebody nearby. You rang the number and left a message and then you made arrangements that you would, would call back at a particular time. We didn't know any different at that stage. I was uh, elected in 1984 as the president-elect and took over in 1985. I had no interest in it, to be quite honest with you. All It was people that, that pushed me to, to go for it. I think after all of that, there are three terms. <laughs> it's a bit of a contradiction. A lot of our time, that time used to be going out to the counties who weren't playing uh, ladies football. I was national development officer from 89 after. I was still involved, very much involved at national level. And, and then I did a third term from 2012 to 2015. I'm still involved, I'm still involved in national management. I'm still on the national rules advisory. It's easy to communicate with each other nowadays in comparison. That's the, the, the most important thing is if you're enjoying something. Liz is my wife. Uh, Liz was very, very involved. We met at a dance in Dublin in the National Ballroom. But we shared the same love of sport, both of us. Unfortunately, she suffers from dysphasia, which is a form of dementia. For somebody who was so involved, she was county chair, she was she was vice president of Leinster, she was national at peace. She put so much effort in over the years, it was her belief that if all referees had done the basic knowledge of first aid, at least somebody in every match would be covered. I suppose she was a calving influence at the sideline also. <laughs> that right, Liz? <laughs> And all the family have taken that up because they're back coaching. May have played counter football for 19 years. Lisa played football. Both of them played all grades underage from Wexford right up to adult. There's a friend of ours, Leona Tector. Leona lives with us. And she, I think, has played 194 times or something like that for Wexford. Our third party, he played and he's also involved in coaching. And then our oldest child, Noel. Noel played. Uh, and he died of sudden adult death syndrome on the 17th of July 2004. It's unimaginable grief. It was Liz that found him. Strangely enough, he was at a game. Uh, I think it was two weeks before he died. Uh, he said after that game that he was going to get involved in ladies football next year. And I was talking to him because I just said, right, okay, I'm going to do, do a fry up in the morning. I asked how many rashes of sausages do you want? No, he wanted four rashes and four sausages. <laughs> So we had a debate about that. As I said, good night to him, and they were the final words I spoke to him. But we have a cup in honour of Noel. It's our senior championship cup within the cup to here. Life goes on, and if, and if you don't roll with it, you'll be left in your own little world. The neighbours were so good at it. I think this is what's so important about the whole Gaelic Games community. When people are in trouble, they rally around to support. That's what sport is. That's what that's what community is. And that's even, even when we're the greatest rivals on the field, but when something happens, we all support each other. The benefit what it has done for people, or for has done for girls in this country, and they throughout the world, is unbelievable. The confidence of girls has been good for their mental health, has been good for their physical health, the whole social aspect. We, we've played a huge role, and a huge role in the promotion and acceptability and role models in our society. It is absolutely great to see what we have done for the lives of those people, taking it away from sport at all. It, there's a sense of achievement to when you see people progress that, uh, boy, I helped a little bit in that whole whole thing, you know. When you see to where we are today, there's nobody could have thought that we would be there. But when we meet and we talk, we don't think, talk about winning. We talk about the journeys that we had in the fun times, and the buses, and the fun times, and the places we stayed. There were passionate people for the good of ladies football. There was no other agenda but they wanted to promote the game. But of course, Tichy Carr brought it into our city rooms where people would never have seen ladies football and brought an acceptance to it because it was being shown in, in, in people's sitting rooms. I remember saying one time we'd have maybe two or three hundred for an all Ireland final. If we got three thousand, the media would, would take notice of us. I made a prediction when, when I was president, and people nearly said they, the people with the white coats for me when I said there'd be a World Games. There are World Games now in Gaelic Games. I was at the World Games in Derry this year, where a team from Cambodia was in it. 
And if you wanted to see what is the definition of sport, they won their first game on the Thursday. It was like winning the All-Ireland. And to think that one of those girls at three months of age was found in a dustbin covered with mosquitoes. But in Asia in particular, the amount of people who told me that uh, uh, ladies football changed their lives. I'm really looking forward to, to seeing the 18th of July in Thurles. Some people who I haven't met for years and people who played a huge role to get there, but it will be nice to meet up and to take, look where we are today, to celebrate what we have achieved.